If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So we got news coming from the boxing manager slash promoter, Samson Lukowicz. You know, those of you unfamiliar with him, man, he worked with greats like uh, Manny Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, all the way to Sergio Martinez to most currently, he's working with David Benavidez and also including... Sebastian Fandora, who's a champion right now, 154, two belt champion, WBO, WBC, you know, amongst other fighters, man. But, you know, it's crazy what we were talking about this morning in the live stream. If you ain't catch it, man, check it out, man. You know, we go live at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well as 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you know what I'm saying, Monday through Friday. You feel me? So come kick it with us, man, the live stream. But we were just talking about Sebastian Fandora and what about his wants? What about his needs? What about his desires? Enter my therapeutic office not just playing but anyways <laughs> we were just talking about that because Earl Spence you know is supposed to be fighting fighting Sebastian Fedora he was supposed to fight him in October he was supposed to fight him in December and now he's supposed to fight him in late January but as you know Sebastian Fedora being a champion his sanction and body, particularly the WBO, they have some wants and desires and needs of their own that needs to be met. And one of them being that they want him to fight Terrence Crawford, who is currently the next up to challenge for that belt. And it's had even been, it has even been stated that if he fights Errol Spence, the moment that that fight is finalized, that's the moment that they will strip Sebastian Fedora of the WBO belt. It seems like Sebastian Fedora hasn't been too concerned. I until lately, Samson Lukowicz, who who's acting as his promoter slash manager, has just told us that, hey man, Sebastian Fedora, man, he, he's getting kind of frustrated with this Spence situation, and he's looking towards fighting Terrence Crawford, you know, and he's he, he's looking forward to that fight, he's preparing for that fight in the scenario that Bud does not get cinnamon, you know, in the scenario that he doesn't get to land the um the massive fight that he's that he's pursuing against Saul Canelo Alvarez, you know. So let's say that Cinnamon doesn't want to fight Terrence Crawford. Well, Sebastian Fedora is saying, "Hey, man, you know, you also mentioned p potentially going after a three-time undisputed in the 154 belt division. You know, what I'm saying 154 uh, di pound division at, at junior middleweight, and a, a person that will stand in the way of that." is Sebastian Fedora, you know, so now Sebastian Fedora is like, hey man, I'm not really cool one of my belts going to Terrence Crawford by me getting stripped simply because I didn't satisfy you know, the criteria set by WBO, I want to at least fight for it so, you know, we could potentially see Terrence Crawford and Sebastian Fedora for two belts, actually three belts will be on the line because Terrence Crawford is a champion at one uh, at, at 154 with the WBA belt and then Sebastian has a WBC and the WBO, so we could be uh, uh, we could have a, a unification match in store, man, and, you know the other championship is 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 uh, going to be fought for between Bakram Murtazali, who's the current IBF champion at 154, and he's, he'll be defending his title against Tim Zhu. So, man, 154 is a very hot division right now, and uh, we see some back and forth between fighters, not just in the ring, potentially, you know, but potentially outside the ring, too. You know, we got to have some conversations going on that might need to be held, because uh, I think Sebastian Fedora and his... In, in his defense, you know, I think that he should be kind of getting frustrated. You know, as much as I want to see Errol Spence back, uh, return and, uh, back to his, um, close to his form, I don't think he's ever going to get back to peak Errol Spence. But we want to see him back in the ring, at least, at least I do, and see if he, if he, if how he looks after bouncing back from his first loss, or if he can bounce back from his first loss. But at the same time, even though I'm greatly anticipating that fight, you know, I'm not, I'm not a proponent for another person's career being stalled out based on the actions or inactions of another fighter, man. So I like this from Sebastian Fedora saying, hey, man, I want to get it on, and I want to get it on one of the best, you know what I'm saying, if not the best in boxing right now, Terrence Bud Crawford. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you think they're just woofing? Do you think this fight actually comes into fruition? Or, or what do you want for Sebastian Fedora? Do you think he should, the best route for him is to just give up the belt uh, 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 for the WBO and pursue the the the, um, the Errol Spence fight and just keep going with that? Or, you know, go in another direction, man. I, I'm, I'm always going to be one for somebody taking their own their destiny in their own hands and not waiting on the actions of another man or woman and going in their own direction man so i i, I like this news that i'm hearing man but y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments remember always 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 with god we can do anything without god or nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets